channel. If you're new here, I'm Shay. Nice to have you. So today's video is going to be a get ready with me on this look right here. Um, I did use the Through the Eyes palette from Colourpop. I had never used it before, so we're testing it out. Um, spoiler alert, I like it. So yeah, today is actually Michael, my fiance's 30th birthday. So we are going to go out to dinner and just hang out tonight. So I thought I would get a little bit glammed up. Um, just a little extra specialness, you know. So that's what we're doing. But definitely, if you are new and you like this video, stick around, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe for more. Hit the little notification bell because we'd love to have you. So yeah, if you want to see how I got my makeup, then uh, let's jump right into it. Alright, so to prime my eyes, I'm using the NARS Pro Prime Smudge Base Eyeshadow Primer. Love this stuff. My absolute favorite though is the Smashbox 24-hour um, shadow base which is the one in like the silver squeeze tube love that stuff so for the eyeshadows that i'm going to be using i was looking through my stuff because i wanted to use a palette that i really hadn't used before and i grabbed this through my eyes palette it's from ColourPop. first just so you guys know and i'll have all of these the products that i use linked below if you miss anything but first i'm going to be taking this shade right here in the palette just one that's a little bit um, similar to my skin tone. Then I'm going to go ahead in with this shade right here as that like initial crease color. So, yeah. So, how's your weekend going? I'm thinking we would go to this really nice steakhouse that he likes. <laughs> Sorry. Um, my dog is right over here and um, she is a German Shepherd and she literally like will moan like when she goes to lay down like she's so talkative um, But yeah, so if you hear anything that's her over there, but yeah, so we're thinking maybe going um, to the steakhouse he likes because <clears throat> it's really expensive So it's not one we go to very often obviously um, and they do have vegetarian options there um, We've I've been there once before with him. We went for his brother's birthday last year and um, they ended up just being able to make like a pasta dish for me that wasn't on the menu, but it was actually really good. So we were thinking we'd go there tonight, but then he was talking about like maybe just staying in and having dinner at home and just hanging out, um, which if that is what he wants to do, then that's what we're going to do. It's his birthday. I want him to, you know, do what he wants. I don't want to force him to do something just because it's his birthday. We ended up staying in on New Year's when we were going to go to a game, a hockey game, and it was like the best thing ever. So it was just nice. Like it was, I say it's like the best thing ever. Like, oh my gosh, it was great. But like it was, we just watched a movie and hung out as a family, like me, him, Lacey, you know, our little family that we love. But we ended up doing that and it was just perfect. So yeah, so I don't know what we're doing tonight, but I'm going to do my makeup because A, I'm filming another video after this. B, I want to be ready, because if he decides, like, let's go out, like, let's do it, it's fine, then I want to be ready. So, next I am going to go into the Through My Eyes palette. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and take this color right here, um, only because when I swatched it, it just looked so pretty, so I'm like, I really want to use that one. Um, and then, I'm thinking, potentially... I'll use this one to deepen it up. Guys, I'm just winging this whole thing right now. Um, I figured it's not like a super formal tutorial, so we can do that. But I am gonna go in with this one right here, and then I might actually, after I do that one, I will go in to this one here, Sightry, uh, Sightry, I don't know how to say it, but just to deepen it up a bit. And then I do wanna test out um, some of the mattes in the Through My Eyes palette, because when I swatched them, this one was buttery and smooth and loved it. But like this one here, what is that, Divina, and then Moody, which is another matte, swatched a little patchy. But you never want to judge just by swatching, because it doesn't reflect exactly like how it'll be on the face. So I do want to test that one out. But yeah, so I'm going to do the darker brown in this palette, and then this one. So. so last night, I went to the symphony with my dad. Michael met up with a friend to watch the fight, and, um, oh my gosh, sorry, I think Michael's home. That scared me. I literally heard somebody, like, walking on my top floor. I really hope Michael's home, because otherwise, that's not good. 
really hope that's him, because otherwise you're about to see a murder. Hello? Did I interrupt? It's Michael! Yay, I'm not getting killed. Hi, babe! Hi! So, <laughs> my dad and I went to the symphony last night. Um, my aunt and uncle ended up having something, so they couldn't go, and they know that I love Harry Potter, so they gave the tickets to me, and they were playing, it was the Goblet of Fire, they had a big screen, and they were playing the movie, and then the symphony was playing the music to the movie. So it was actually really cool, um, and then my dad went with me because we used to go to the symphony a lot when I was in like high school, like middle school, high school, um, and actually even younger because I was in orchestra from fourth grade on, so we would go together, and I don't know, it was just nice getting to like go with him, it was a little bit nostalgic. But we were also in the second row, so it was pretty cool. This is the Sephora Pro Taper Crease Brush, number 19. Love it. Um, there are a few staple Sephora brushes that I used to use on clients all the time when I worked there because I was one of the artists that took appointments. Um, and I just like, I don't know, I had a few that I really loved. I think the 40, I don't know why I just like stuttered. I think it was the 45 brush was the like tapered um, like face brush I really liked and then um, the 56 brush for foundation and the 47 one really liked that one but I don't know I'll have those actually <laughs> I'll just link those down below I think too if you guys want to check them out um, assuming they're still available I have not worked at Sephora now for a little over a year um, but yeah so if you want to check them out though. Do you guys have dogs? Because if you do, I would love to hear about them. Drop a comment below what type of dog you have or dogs and what are their names? Because honestly, dogs are like my favorite thing ever. If I could be surrounded by like 12 dogs right here right now, I totally would. I know that sounds a bit extreme, but like, guys, I love dogs. This Davina shade, this plum shade in here, um, I'm just kind of pressing this on to the outer corner is real pretty. I like it. Actually, it kind of matches my shirt, so perfect. Do, 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 do. I am loving this Divina shade. I'm gonna actually just bring it on a little bit into the lid, just like really close to the lash line as well. I really like that color, guys. Yeah, I am noticing this palette does have quite a bit of fallout, but it's okay, because all we gotta do is clean it up after and do the face makeup. Love that shade, though. This Divina color right here, so pretty, so pretty. And it isn't going on patchy like it swatched, so that's good. Like I said, especially with mattes, you never want to judge it fully by how it swatches because chances are you're not like using your finger to apply it. So brushes tend to smooth things out. I'm going to take this, what is it, Lucy though, color, this very top one here. And I'm going to use this one um, kind of towards the inner part just to brighten up the look, I think, a little bit. And... pretty and it is brightening up the inner corner. Megu stuff. So eyes are pretty much done, uh, at least on the top. So I'm going to go ahead and do my face and I always double up on primer. I don't know why you do not need to, but Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water love this stuff and then I also have my Too Faced Hangover Primer and like I said Prime er, this one is really good it's got coconut water in it and it's just really hydrating so for foundation I am mixing these two yeah um, this is the IT Cosmetics CC Plus Cream the regular one not the illuminating or the mattifying this is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. I have used both of these on their own and love them. I mixed them a few days ago to um, just get a better color for what I am right now. 
and I really liked them together. Both of these are extremely hydrating, so if you have like normal to dry skin, I would definitely recommend it. But I like to dot it on and then blend it versus like tapping it and blending it. I just feel like it's a better um, like application, I guess, for me and for what I am wanting. But yes, either way. So Michael actually just came in and we finally figured out what's going on tonight because as I mentioned, first we were gonna go to like a really nice restaurant, then we were gonna just eat at home and I have no idea what we're doing. So he just came in and he was like, all right, how about this? Which 98% of what he could say I would be okay with because like I said, it's his birthday so I want him to pick. So unless it was something I really was like, no, you know, I can't eat there or something. But, he was like, let's go to North Star, and then we can go to Barnes & Noble and walk around, which is one of my favorite stores. Like, literally, if I ever got to the point where I was working with brands, like, I know this is a beauty channel, but if I got to work with them on my vlog channel or something, like, yeah, I'd be so down. So today, I'm actually going to try the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I've not tried it. I've had this for a bit. I got it when I ordered this palette with a few other palettes and lippies. Um... But I have not used it yet, so I don't know how the color is. I don't know how this works. Like, I will like it, but I've good, heard good things about it. I literally cannot talk. I have heard good things about it. So I am going to just kind of, you know, do my thing with it. And see. But, yeah, like I said, I've heard good things, so... Um, this is in the color Fair 04, so I am liking this so far. Obviously, I would never give, like, you know, full stamp of approval after one use because you don't know how it's going to work. You don't know if it's going to, like, last all night or whatever, but so far, it's looking good. What are some of your guys' favorite concealer? Because I feel like I'm, like, running low. I did try the Shape Tape. I had like a little mini one, I finally tried it, and I do really like that one, but it just ran out a little bit ago, so I don't have that one anymore. Like I have it, but it's like super dried out now. Um, this one, obviously I'll use up, unless I really end up hating it, but so far I'm thinking I won't. Yeah. But if you guys have like a super favorite one, I do have some texture under the eyes. Which sucks, but, you know, life. So now I'm going to use the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffuse Light and set my face. Alright, so. Ta-da. Cool. So I'm just going to kind of take a little bit of that right under the lashes for my inner corner i'm actually just going to use this maybelline what is it master chrome metallic highlighter it's in the color 250. so for bronzer i'm going to just use benefit hula um this is a baby one I'm not contouring with it just overall bronze you know so but yeah so anyway What is new with you guys? What's new? Do any of you guys watch The Bachelor? So I'm going over to my friend's house tomorrow night. I guess she texted actually um, last Monday and was like, I was out of town last week, but I always have like a viewing party because I just recently started hanging out with her again. She's one of my friends from high school. Um, we used to cheer together. Um, and she was asking, you know, if we wanted to come over to watch The Bachelor. Um, but. I was actually in Vegas for work last Monday, so I couldn't go, and I've never really watched it. But, like, what are your guys' thoughts on it? Do you guys watch it? I'm gonna go tomorrow, just because I think it'd be fun to hang out with everybody. But, like, just wondering. Now I am going in with that blush I just talked about. What is it, Dim Infusion? Yeah. This is the Fenty Beauty. It's the dual pan one in Mean Money and Hustle Baby. We got it when Fenty first launched. And as you can see, I've used like a lot of it. But I really like it. 
I usually just swirl both sides together because the one side's really not like a whole lot um, unless you really like a subtle subtle highlight um, you can use it like on your eyes or as an all over glow but I really like the other side and that one mixed from Benefit just kind of comb through you know do the thing all I have are lips and lashes so I'm gonna go ahead spray my setting spray do my eyelashes and then I'll come back for my lip color only because you guys I'm sure know how to put on mascara and I'm one of those weirdos who has to have the mirror like right here what she does for mascara so be right back so lashes are done um, for my mascara I used the Marc Jacobs um, lash primer and then I also tight lined with the NYX eyeliner the pencil one and then I used roller lash and lash paradise I combined them so yeah that's what I have currently on my lashes yes for my lips I kind of just grab stuff out of my drawer so we'll see how I like it to be honest but I feel like that's how you find the best lip combos when you just randomly grab stuff and then it works out so I have the Kat Von D Everlasting Lip Liner in OG Lolita and then I'm going to be using the Bare Minerals what is it it is the matte liquid lipstick in Juju and then topping it with the Anastasia lip gloss in Kristen so. So, I like. I'm gonna skip on the Bare Minerals liquid lipstick for today. I actually do really, really love this one, and have gotten a lot of compliments on this one. But I think just the lip liner and lip gloss combo are gonna be good. So, obviously, if I, you know, don't have to use three lip products, then I won't. Alright, so my makeup is totally done now. Yay, I feel like that took forever, but it's all good. Really enjoyed the palette. Like I said, I do want to do some more looks with it. Um, but through the eyes palette from ColourPop, thumbs up on my end. Um, yeah, so, and everything else, most everything else I've used before. But this is the first thing that I was testing out today. I guess technically the lip liner I had never actually used before and that I really liked. Really like this color OG Lolita. Um, oh and the concealer. The concealer was the other thing that I tested out. So far I like it. It doesn't make my under eyes look super dry or anything like that. Um, as far as settling in to this line everything does so I'm not like super butt hurt about that um yeah so far i actually really really like it though so thumbs up from me i i literally am so awkward so if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and let me know down below what you guys would like to see for more subscribe i'll see you guys soon bye i don't know what this was but bye